Oh, dude, there's something. Oh, man. Dude, it's a pleasey. <laughs> He's going to be honest, too. I tell you what, man. Of all things, to finally see... I mean, it, it couldn't be a jellyfish. It, it couldn't be a Meg or a Manta. Nope, got to be a pleasey. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some art, Chris Lyles. Uh, today, don't have too much planned. I got a lot of stuff around the base. I'm kind of wanting to get done and taken care of. I want to try to breed my pterodons to try to get uh, maybe some different color mutations since I have the one that we just, just tamed that has the event colors. I need to work on getting my thylas bred to try to get a little bit better ones of those. I need to figure out a space for the grill. Still not sure what to do with it. But that's kind of what I have uh, on the plate for today. Figured I'd bring you along in case you're interested in the uh, a little bit of stuff I usually do off camera. So, I'm still not sure about this. So the wind wheel, when the turbine is going, and we do have do have power going to stuff. So it might just be it might be a thing where you know it's only a certain percentage of the time it doesn't work, and then it does work. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want to get him down from up there. Dude, you need to go on a cryopod. I want to get him down from up there and I want to set up a ladder and probably put some some preserving bins up there so I got this one it's currently making some jerky and it does fine it is a little slow it is only one and we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing an industrial cooker soon for kibble and stuff like that so we're gonna be needing a lot more in the way of jerky which also kind of plays in with needing the industrial grill so I need to get some Need to, where am I going? Need to get some prime meat going too. This little dude. Hello, can I get? Can I? There we go. He's been doing pretty well, keeping up with the fertilizer. Uh, all the plots have like three, uh, three of the fertilizer stacks in there, so we're doing doing pretty well. But dude, man, I don't know. I really, really, really like the blue and the green in this dude. So first things first. Let's go ahead. This is the original one that we had. Oh man, we got a bunch of stuff in her. Let's go ahead and clean her out, and we're gonna need her saddle. Uh, I guess I could just throw the food in here. I, I like doing cooked meat, but let's go ahead and just throw it in there for now. Some more chitin to make up some more cementing paste. We still got a good bit, but we will always need more, no matter what. <laughs> just, uh, just the way it goes in Ark. And let's clean out the narcotics. All right, so I want to work on getting. So that's a 221. 212. Okay, so these two, I need to get closer together. Let's go ahead and enable mating on both of these. So I'm thinking, I don't know how the boss level or the boss fights are going to work in this one. I'm not sure. I haven't. I'm trying to. Not look too much online right now about it. I uh, kind of want to be surprised, but I'm thinking about taking thylas in since I'm, I'm breeding a bunch now to try to get a really good level one for my my personal mount. I want to uh, maybe cryopod them and take them into the boss fight. They do a lot of damage. I think they do like a little. Dude, I tell you what, they did do a little over 300 per hit, so it should work out. Hopefully. Alright, let's go ahead and move the pterodons over a little bit. Probably put them right here. Try to get them to lay some eggs. I think that's still in the... Yeah, oh man, see that's the thing about having this a small area is... Dude, everywhere that everybody's at, it's uh... They're in, they're in the feed radius of one feeding trough. Makes it so nice. Let's get him down. You know, I didn't even... Who did I just whistle? I didn't even check to see if that's a male and female. So this one, this one's a female. Dude, please don't tell me I got two females. Oh, I do! Dang it! Well, that's not gonna work out. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to find a male. That's alright, we'll leave him down here. I kinda need or her down here. I need to clean that out anyways. Dude, I really need to do some some maintenance here with all these tames. It's like I think I'm gonna have to start. I don't want to cryopod them because then you don't get 
you know, they don't level up. But it's starting to get to where I have way too much going on. How far along are you? Almost ready. Maybe I'll cryopod some of the thylas I don't need. That's, that's, that'll take care of two of the tames right there. I think I have a cryopod on me. Alright, let's get rid of you, buddy. Hopefully he doesn't have any inventory. It'll drop if he does. Which he did not. And those two I'm breeding, I'm gonna leave... Probably leave her out, because she's... No, you know what? Let's go ahead and Carl pot her, too. If I need to do anything, I'll take the berry out, because I need to level him up a little bit to, uh... to get ready for the... Element ore run. All right, put you guys in there. Let's take out these. I need to make some more of those at some point in time as well. Uh, let's move. So let's move the bat, but let's cryopod it for right now. I'm thinking about having to build a dino storage area, maybe. Since we're getting so crowded. I don't want to have everything in cryopods. Or I guess I could put him out right here. would be pretty cool. Oh, and it's facing the wrong way. Kind of wanted it facing the other way. That's alright, we'll put him back in the cryopod. I have to wait the 280 seconds so he doesn't have cryo sickness. Alright. Just put you over here out of the way. Let's grab the Anki. And we'll grab a Ravager. And we'll go do a quick little metal run, because I think my forges are empty, right? Everything's... Yeah, I just got them pretty much making charcoal now for some... For some ammo, for some gunpowder. Something we'll head over and do before the end of this video is I need to get a dodic because we're going to be doing the the big dock out there and it's a long it's a long dock man I'll show you let's let's take the berry real quick I'll show you it goes so far out before the drop off and I want to do it all the way out to the drop off because we're going to have our our water pin out here once we get some some teams for the water but dude see how far this shelf is I mean, it's like, holy crap, dude, that's like, it's what, how about 20 foundations, maybe more? Nice level up there. I'm kind of curious, I don't think anything's down here. I don't have a scuba tank either. Dude, it drops off so far. We'll go down to half of the, uh, half the oxygen is gone. Yeah, man, that floor. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no... Oh, we better go up. I'm surprised there's no uh, water creatures around here. There's not even any megalodons. Oh man, I might have gone too deep. I'm gonna run out of air here in a second. Yep, yep, yep. I know, dude. So yeah, I'm kind of interested about getting in the water and checking around to see what's around once I get a scuba tank made. A little bit of gear. Well, that was weird. See, so, yeah, let's jump on that Anki real quick. I'm gonna go around, hit a couple of the the metal rich nodes around, and try to get some some stuff going in the. Uh, let's see, we're gonna take I'm gonna take you. But anyways, yeah, get the forges filled up so that can that can be cooking while we're doing all of our other stuff. See, I've noticed the ones that have the most metal kind of they're not smooth, man. They got like a a little bit of rigidness to oh that's a cool looking parasaur but they're really rigid looking rocks what he's getting full let's go ahead and empty him into the ravager he doesn't get the as much weight reduction but it's still a good bit take all this stuff we can keep all of it our our vaults are pretty empty Empty, dude, why are you... Could you back up, please? Give a guy some room, man. <laughs> dude, I just want some breathing room. But... Tell you what. 
There we go. They'll all scatter. Oh, man. Dude. Beaver Dam. Nice. Get some some mini paste. I wonder where they're at, though. That's the, that's the only thing. Oh, man. I didn't mean to... I can still walk. I didn't mean to take it all. Dude, I totally forgot that we had... Oh, man. We had the, the Thyla. <laughs> we were breeding. I don't know if that little dude popped out yet or not. Oh, man, that's gonna suck. I think he did. He probably died. Oh, man. That's not the first time I've done that. Tried to, uh... Multitask and I get sidetracked. Yep, we're not gonna get a full imprint on this one. Uh, maybe. It just... It, it just happened, so... The mature rate... Let's see, it's another female... Same level as that one. Check the stats real quick, see if anything's changed. So 57, 16, 438. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna end up being the same stats as that one if I if it was fully imprinted. No mutations or anything. Okay, well let's get her back over here real quick. So she's in the, the feeding trough area. All right, so we got a full Ravager. I did empty him out before we went back, and I got a full Anki, so let's see how... Oh, man, perfect timing. 30 seconds? Dude, can't get no better than that. I don't know what we're going to do with that Wyvern up there, man. So I do have that egg. I've been checking and haven't seen any more... Or haven't seen any more. I haven't seen any of the Alpha Wyverns that we're supposed to get those Primal Crystals from. I don't really want to keep him too much because he's so low level. Because we didn't get the imprint bonus, you know? Hopefully this dude doesn't need too much. Oh, cuddle. No problem at all with that. And we will be able to get that last one in. As long as he doesn't want anything weird, you know? Which doesn't matter. We're going to use it for breeding so the imprint bonus doesn't carry over or nothing like that. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Fill up our forges. And then I'm going to look at making a scuba tank. That way we can take a quick look underneath to see what's down there. I don't know, man. We might not need a dodic with, if we just keep using the Yankee for getting metal. Because, dude, that's a whole bunch of stone there. Oh, nice. I can reach it. Take a look. Because we're going to need a lot of... Uh, we might be all right. We're just gonna, mainly going to need pillars and ceilings for the dock. So, yeah, let's get on the other side of him. Awesome. So yeah, we still got plenty of storage space in here. I do got a chainsaw, so wood's not a problem, and I have the sickle, so fiber's not a problem. I could get a, a fairy, but not really wanting to tame one of those just for for fiber for right yet. Alright, so everybody else is good. Throw these mushrooms in here and look at making a scuba suit. So what do we need? Mainly just need the tank, so I just need... Oh, I got everything except for fiber and hide. Take a couple of those. Plenty of hide. What else do we need? Let's go ahead and make a mask, too. Ah, uh, silica pearls. I just found some of those. Dude, there's only... Here, I marked it on my map. It's only one place I found Celica Pearls. It's way up there in between 4050 and 3040. I haven't seen any anywhere else. Of course, I haven't been in the water too much. But that little that little lake up there, dude, it's full of them. One tank should be well, tell you what, let's go ahead. We have the stuff. Let's make two tanks. And I don't need the fins. Uh, let's go ahead and just make them. Let's make a whole suit, man. Let's get it done. We have all the stuff. Very, very nice. So yeah, as soon as it gets daylight here, we'll take a quick peek underneath there and see what they, uh... See what they got under there, man. Are you a... Oh, 145. Oh, it's a male 145. Dude. Where's my... I think they're in here. My bolas. 
Maybe it's in here. Yep, 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 yep. We are gonna tame that so that we can breed those two. Oh, dude, don't go flying. Oh, dude, I got him. Should only take one or two. He's right here at base two. <laughs> nice. And he's unconscious. Let me grab... They, don't they eat vegetables? I got berries. Vegetables might go quicker. Let's see what I have in the fridge here. And some lovely little carrots for him. And since there's no predators that I've seen on this little island, he should be safe just laying here by himself. Maybe he won't eat vegetables. So it says put food in. Oh wait, what am I thinking, man? They do meat. Dude! Tell you what, it's uh... It's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> Trying to remember what eats what. We just get a, a universal food for everybody. That would be great. Where's my prime meat? There we go. So while he's taming, we'll take a look real quick and, and I need to, I really, really, really need to get that grill out. Yep, there we go. Should only take a couple pieces. How are you doing? Minute and a half. So this grill, I don't think we can set it directly on the ground, can we? I'll just throw those in there. We'll hold on to them. Has to be on a foundation. I wonder if we should expand over this way some. I guess we could just go out this way, right? No reason we shouldn't have to move out this way. I'll get rid of the cage that little buddy's in. And, well, I'll tell you what, let's make another one. Let's grab, I don't know if I have any foundations made. I think I have a couple left over. I do. All right, what do you need? Oh, come on, quick. Hurry, dude, your imprint window's almost gone. Why is he not coming? Oh, there we go. He was stuck. Awesome. So we got 100%. Yep, 100% imprint. So yeah, all the stats look the same. Which is fine. We can go ahead and... Yeah, it's gonna be the same as her. That's alright, we'll use it for breeding. Let's get this foundation out, though. Get our grail set up, man. We really need to get some... Get some prime meat going. Also, man, I feel a lot better. It's a little bit more spaced out now. Let's go take a look. Our pterodon should be ready. Dude, is he still sleeping? Holy crap! Lazy, man. I tell you what. He is pretty close to being done, though. Let's take those back. He, sh he shouldn't need that many. Nah, I tell you what. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think I'm gonna move, we'll just move the dung beetle all the way over by the the garden. No, no reason for him to be over here, really. Tell you what, man, getting everything kind of sorted out and situated the way you like it to where it's, it's functional. It's quite a, quite a chore sometimes, you know? Nice, there we go. So he's over there. Check on our stuff while we're here. We should have quite a bit of beer. Oh yeah, got three in here and three in here. We should be good on supplies too in them. Doing all right. All oh, this is still good. Growing up very, very nice. Tell you what, man, it's getting morning time. Let's go ahead and get ready to head underneath and check that out real quick before we go. Not too much more I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go out hunting. And and fill up the for or the I'm gonna fill up the forage, man. Fill up the grill. Do I have anything on me? Yeah, let's get rid of this extra stuff we got. Put yours in the weight. All right, man. Let's see what's under this water. See what it's all about. Hopefully, there's some there's some stuff around here for us to tame. That'd be nice since it's right here by base. Ah, nothing like a nice morning swim. 
couple oil nodes there. That's pretty nice. We'll take those and tear them up. Hopefully they'll respawn. So here's part of the shelf where it drops off. Oh, dude, look at those. It's kind of neat. Question is, what else is down here around them? There's also a chance that there's supposed to be stuff down here, but there's not at the moment because it hasn't spawned in. I haven't come down here or even over this area area yet. But at least the terrain underneath here is pretty neat. But dude, there is like zero wildlife anywhere. I'll show you where we're at. So we have come all the way up. We're kind of heading towards the, <laughs> the north side of the map, and I haven't even seen a fish, let alone anything else. Kind of, uh, kind of sucks, man. They should have at least some something in the water. You would think at least, right? Nothing but a couple oil nodes, it seems. Oh, dude, there's something. Oh, man. Dude, it's a pleasy. <laughs> He's gonna be honest too. I tell you what, man. Of all things to finally see, I mean, it, it couldn't be a jellyfish. It it couldn't be a meg or a manta. Nope, gotta be a pleasy. Oh man, and there's no way around here to lose him either. I don't know if the stun attack will uh will affect him or not. I can't remember. Oh, dude, we're gonna have to. I don't know if we can take them out. Oh, we, well, we'll do a good bit of damage. It'll be a good level up. See if we can't get behind him a little bit. It'd be hard for him to turn around on us. There we go. As long as there's only one of them, we should be all right. Dude, it's only a level 45 one. Come on, man. He's not even getting bloody. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, dude, we're in bad shape, man. Uh, I might have... Oh, there we go. Ooh, I was gonna say, we might have messed up. <laughs> we only got two levels out of all that. Dude! It's going right into damage. So where was he at? He's almost up at the snow area. We'll have to remember that if we come to tame a pleasy, which I mean we will. They're a good underwater kind of like Quetzal with the platform saddle you can put on them, and they're fast too, man. Oh, dude, they're they're the way to get around underwater. Well, let's go ahead and get up here topside. Where do we come out at? Ah, right here by the nice snow biome. It's a nice kind of view. We're gonna take our mask off. Drop the gamma back down. There we go. Nice, man. Well, we found a plesiosaur and found out there is nothing else in the ocean. But, uh, <laughs> so that's it, man. Not too much of this video. Just me messing around a base, trying to get some stuff sorted out. But we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.